Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'll be sharing with you some healthy snacks that I absolutely love and enjoy eating whenever I get a little bit peckish. So I hope you guys will try these out yourselves and enjoy them as a healthier alternative. If you enjoy the video today, make sure you subscribe so you can see more content like this. And let's hop straight into recipe number one. Okay, so for this first healthy snack, we are making protein balls. So what you will need for this recipe is one cup of dates, one cup of any nuts of your choice. I'm using mainly almond nuts today. Half a cup of shredded coconut. A quarter cup of peanut butter. One third a cup of honey. Now add all of the ingredients into a food processor. And process them together. And lastly, add a quarter teaspoon of salt. And add a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then process the ingredients all together until they no longer stick to the side of the food processor. So now you should have something like this. Now get a tablespoon of the mixture and place it in your hands. Then using your hands, squeeze the ingredients into a bowl. And there you have your protein bowl. So this recipe makes around 22 protein balls, so you'll get a fair amount out of this mixture. So make sure you store them in the fridge so you can enjoy them for a while. The second recipe is chickpea cookie dough. So in a food processor, add in one can of washed chickpeas. Then add in 3 fourths a cup of oat flour. 3 tablespoons of peanut butter. Half a cup of honey, a quarter cup of any milk of your choice, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then process the ingredients all together until they form a smooth consistency, just like cookie dough. Place this mixture into a bowl and then mix in some dark chocolate chips, however many you like according to your taste. So this recipe will make one bowl of healthy cookie dough. And then enjoy the cookie dough as is. Make sure you store the cookie dough in the fridge. So recipe number three is a trail mix. So for this recipe, you can add in any nuts of your choice. However, I am using almond nuts because that's all I have available. So I'm going to chop up one cup of almond nuts on a chopping board. So after adding the chopped nuts to a large bowl, I'm then going to add in half a cup of sunflower seeds. Sometimes I add in pumpkin kernels as well, but I don't have any on me at the moment. So I'm just adding in sunflower seeds. Then I'll add in half a cup of dark chocolate chips and half a cup of dried cranberries. I like to make my own trail mix instead of buying it and that's because I really like to customize it to my liking. So if I don't like a certain ingredient in it, I can leave it out and I can just add in whatever I enjoy eating. So this mixture makes around 350 grams so you can place it into a container and store it in your pantry. Now this next snack is super simple, it's simply just frozen fruits. Now maybe this isn't for everyone but I really enjoy eating frozen fruits, especially when it's a hot season such as summer or spring. So I really like to eat strawberries frozen or grapes, mango, banana, you can really choose whatever you like to eat frozen. I really like doing this because when a fruit is out of season or perhaps it's very expensive, fresh, I like to buy it frozen and just snack on it this way or use it for recipes this way. Now my final snack is not really something you eat but something more that you drink but it is a smoothie so I really like to have smoothies and this ties in really well with my frozen fruit snack because I like to use frozen fruit to make my smoothies. One of my favorite smoothies is a banana and strawberry smoothie. I'm not going to actually show you that in this video because I've already done another video showing you that. So if you'd like to see the full recipe, I'll leave a link here and it's at the end of this video. 
Give these recipes a go whenever you get a sweet tooth or a craving so that you're replacing unhealthy options with healthier alternatives. And let me know in the comment section what is your healthy go-to snack. Remember to love others and yourself and happy snacking!